you'll be safe. What's up, everyone? When we last left off, Carlos just saved Jill again from the Nemesis, and now we're heading down to the secret base to get the train to get to safety. I'm Dark Shard of the YouTube Assassin. Let's get our Resident Evil on. like I said we just just blew up Nemesis and we're escaping on this train not everyone is going there there's going to be a secret Your mission reputation is well deserved get inside the subway is about to leave and I feel like a lot of these characters are better fleshed out than they were obviously in the uh, original one this isn't the last bite out of town right do not worry. Once the civilians are safe, the train will be back. It's all right. You're going ahead. But I'm not going to die on you and leave you in a cold, cruel, Carlosless world. Okay. You'll need to find this scientist. His vaccine research could save us all. You see? You're learning. The only life that matters is your own. Good luck. Let's go. Yeah, man, let's get out of here. So you don't really think a pencil pusher like Barton is still alive, do you? I haven't done good authority. Uh, why? Uh, are you worried about teammates? Or something else. Funny how brainless zombies can ambush a platoon like that. Funny the gate was locked. Don't you think? Interesting. <laughs> you kind of know something's up. A lot of explosions, a lot of just action in this game. That's why, like, I really do appreciate it. Like, I, I understand where some people are coming from, where they're upset that there really Child wasn't... A it, I mean, you could complete this game now. if you're not your watching game. the cutscenes no, or anything like that. You can complete this in, like, no, an hour. Like in all honesty... According to the uh, record, I've only been playing for 34 minutes or something, so it's entirely possible that all these cutscenes don't count. All right, keep your head screwed on, Romeo. This is the police station. You sure? It looks like a cemetery to me. I'm talking with Carl. Brad, stop! T. Come on, man. Not you too. Me, Captain. Sorry. In case anybody's confused why the third game Shit, looks like fuck. it takes place before the second game, it's because it's Get supposed to be 24 hours prior to the events of Resident Don't Evil 2. Stopped. 
and then 24 hours after the events of Resident Evil 2. Oh, I'm not picking up his badge. In Nightmare and Inferno, he doesn't even wear the badge. But here we go, because once again, I've got all the stuff. Carlos can also take all this gear and whatnot. So we'll get rid of all this. We'll once again take the infinite rocket launcher. And I will take all the coins as well. Our intel's still worth a damn, then Bard's in the star's office. Let's find him and take him into Let's custody. Kill him. Oh, I can't. Custody. I thought this he was won't a let me. He knows we'll try to keep him under our thumbs. So this search and rescue mission is really more like find and detain. Yes, Carlos. Right. You work for Umbrella. Good to know. You guys are messed I'll up. I'll open the shutter so you can get through. You stay here and find out what's been going on here at the station. Or your employers Call are. You have to find anything. Hey! Be careful. Yeah. You too, man. So once again, we don't need have, like half of this stuff. What the hell was that thing? Couldn't have been a zombie. Damn. Put him up there. It's foul. You gotta remember too, in uh, Inferno and Nightmare, there are, there are different monsters right. sometimes that appear. Big warm RPD welcome. Different ones will appear in different areas. T. Sometimes Copy. it gets really difficult. Real You're expecting something and then you don't get it. Something nasty. All right. I'll take a look with the cameras. Watch your six. There were several times I'm expecting one creature to be. With this rocket launcher basically being a shortcut, up shooting cops. don't need to go into that room there. Although normally you would. Another thing is like, as if you're going to play through Nightmare and Inferno, you really need to concentrate on your quickest route. And the thing is that you'll play this game enough times, like as you're doing like a trophy or achievement chases, and, you know, like other things, uh, you know, trying to get all the files, trying to get all the, those Charlie dolls, trying to do all those different things. You'll you'll know this game well enough that you'll know exactly where to go and how to go, how to go about doing what you need to do. And you'll get through the game quicker. And like I said, it'll become, you know, like secondhand nature. You'll out of nowhere be doing this in like less than an hour. And in fact, I, I would love to see some speedruns. If any of you are like trying to speedrun this game, by all means, uh, you know, let me know in the comments. Let me know if you have a channel or if you put it up on Facebook or something. Anywhere that you have it listed, I would love to see speedruns. Or if you're going to do it live and, and you're going to announce that you're going to do it live now. and make the attempt, definitely let me know. I would love to watch you. I might try to do a speed run. Carlos, Maybe I'll do it for charity. Head your way. Copy that. I think I might. No, nope. I'm expecting this. One at a time, take a number. Man, it sucks to be popular. <laughs> 
Get back outside. Maybe I'll try it on, uh, maybe I'll try it on Nightmare or Inferno difficulty and try to speed run through it. Dr. Bard. Assisted oh, mode is man, just God, too quick and easy. Know how long I've been trying to reach somebody. Don't worry, we're gonna get you out of there. Just tell me where you are. I'm trapped in a goddamn hospital, surrounded by every kind of abomination. Look, just that narrows it down. Cars. They're gonna know what to do. No, negative. RPD's overrun too. Then figure it out. Umbrella's gone crazy. They're killing the only one who knows how to make the vaccine to stop the zombies. So you can either sit there with your dick in your hand or send send somebody who's capable of getting me the hell out of here. It's a very nice guy. He's very pleasant. Like him already? Yeah, you would. You heard what he said. We can't turn him over to the company. That's not our call to make. That's Mihail's call. I'm gonna check the computer to see if I can trace the doc's location. This will take some time. Look around, see if you can find anything useful. And normally you can. You look all around. You could check like the bag had a uh, first aid spray. You know, you find stuff all around here. You find documents in Wesker's office back there. But we don't need to do that. We're just coming this way. Yeah, what's up? Derail. Was anyone hurt? Jill? Yeah, everyone was hurt. What? Jill! Jill, what happened? Jill, come in! T, I gotta go. Do what you gotta. I'll take care of Bard. I just like the whole fact that he's got like a partner there. I thought that was pretty amazing. I, I really do think that this is an excellent, excellent game. It's an excellent reimagining of what happened, who did what, how everything went down. Capcom is really stepping up their game making these remakes. I'm not one for remakes. I, I feel like we're doing too many of those. But this is definitely, definitely one of the better ones. See, the rocket launcher or the grenade launcher will appear if you didn't get it in the sewers, which is great, but you know, that's just unnecessary when you have the infinite rocket launcher. And you could just beat through a bunch of those. Yeah, what's up? We didn't make it. The train derailed. Derailed? Was anyone hurt? No, everybody's dead. Mihail, everybody. Oh, shit. Nikolai left us to die. Wait, what? Yeah, he's a traitor. What the fuck? Get back! I 
I think it's absolutely amazing, though, that every time you defeat this thing, it loses more clothes and it mutates more. This battle normally you definitely need the mine launcher for. Oh wow, she's got a mine launcher too. Look at this. Even though I don't have it, the grenade launcher. You get the blue uh, grenades. They're actually mines. And what's going to happen is that out of nowhere he'll start running around all around this area. When he starts running, you have to blast one of those mine the uh, grenades that you need. Those are the mine rounds. And uh, honestly, I did it at a higher level, did not have the grenade launcher to launch the mine rounds. When he started running around there, all I did was wait till he got a little close and timed it where I blasted that and he went flying off. So it's still, it's still possible even without the grenade launcher. If you're trying to save space and whatnot. The other thing I love is that she's killed this thing like a million times and it's still active. Can save her. All right, I'll meet you there. You hang in there, super cop. I got you. <laughs> I believe this part is what happens the 24 hours after the events of Resident Evil 2. Yeah, you do. You got plenty of time. Look at that. Like I said, once once you've played this enough, you'll know all the routes 
And you're going to play it a couple of times because you're, you're going to... I mean, the achievements and trophies for this game are are not that hard to get. The, the hardest parts are going to be the ones where you need S rank for anything and where you're going to need... Uh, Basically, uh, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna like beat it at like the higher levels, and then you're gonna beat the S rank. Those are gonna be like your toughest kind of like playthroughs, your toughest runs. But you're still gonna be able to make it. But as long as you're you're doing this, as long as like you've got it going, you're definitely gonna know all the shortcuts. You're gonna know exactly where to go, what to avoid, what you really need, and it just gets way easier. It'll, it'll continually get way easier. And then that way, when you actually get to the uh, all these higher levels and whatnot, when you're, when you're ready to do Nightmare and Inferno, you're going to be able to do it without any sort of issue. You're going you're gonna to really just nail it. So let's see, we can't go that way. That is the incorrect way. See? Forgot already. I know I have to go there at some point. I've been playing this so many times, and I still forgot which way I was supposed to go. But if I was doing a speed run, that would only I would have only lost like a couple of seconds. And here we go. We're going to open up this locker here. That's all we need. The other locker has a zombie which we don't want to bother with. He's just going to lay on the floor though. He's going to be dead until you play as Jill, and when Jill comes in there, then she's going to have a problem with him. These things, you want to aim for the head when you're shooting at them. Unless you have an infinite rocket launcher, then you just shoot anywhere. First time I encountered that, I had a grenade, and that's what I used to hit him with. And then he just, like, died just like that. It was whatever. Real quick. Alright, now we'll go into this area. And we gotta use the card on this thing here. There we go, but we got some friends that want to say hi. So let's get rid of them now, so that, that way don't have to deal with them later. When we're leaving this thing. You can see there's some more of those things in there. Alright, so we're going to combine this cassette. Not with the key. With the tape player. We're going to get out of here. There's going to be a lot more of those guys coming around. And I just want you to remember, again, when you're playing on Nightmare and Inferno, there are going to be monsters in places that you did not see before. They're going to be all out of whack. You're going to be like, where did this guy come from? Why is he here? He was never here in earlier playthroughs. So you just have to remember that. Nothing is going to be the way you left it. It'll even tell you that there's going to be like a bunch of things missing bunch of guys you know like in spots they weren't a bunch of items are not in the same spots you left them all right let's play this tape all i wanted to know was what the documents were doing in your office in the first place who do you think you're talking to i'm goddamn nathaniel bard what a I'm nice guy Tyrell, Bard's dead. He's been shot. Shit, and the vaccine? I'm looking. Well, look harder. There's gotta be a computer, right? All right, we'll come over here. Here's the computer. And it it does count as a file if you're looking for all the files, Bard. though. September 29, 11 p.m. I am acutely aware that my time's running out. And I hope and pray by making this recording and bringing the truth to light that I can restore some small shred of honor to my name. Being that he was partly responsible for this whole disease to begin with. 
release of a biological weapon known as the T-Virus. My employer, the Umbrella Corporation, engineered this virus. And they ordered my team to develop a vaccine, which we did. And they did. I keep samples of this vaccine here in my office. The rest of it is stored underground. But those sons of bitches at the board, they want to destroy it. They don't want the world to know what they've done. So they're trying to erase all evidence that the virus ever existed. No, I'm not a fool. I know they don't want me to... Hmm. I got Jill all along. And she trusted me anyway. He's got it. All right, Joe. Hang tight. T, I got it. Good. I'm headed your way. Be careful. Careful? <laughs> Have you seen this town? It'll be a fucking miracle if I get there in one piece. <laughs> You'll get here in one piece. You're gonna be okay, Joe. So here we'll give her the vaccine. Which she desperately needed. How he knew how to like inject it, I don't know. Have some faith, buddy. Tyrell, what the hell happened? On October 1st, Raccoon City will be completely destroyed in a missile strike. All residents capable of rational thought are urged to evacuate immediately. This is not a test. Attention all citizens. I mean, that's only a day away. There's still people in the city. You think Uncle Sam gives a shit? Fuck. Here they come. Oh, you sit tight. I got this. Better grab some gear. Sounds like there's a lot of them out there. I don't think there's anything in here that he needs. He just needs to get out there. And now this there's is just going to be fun with the rocket launcher. The less entry points, the better. And how do we do that? I'll try hacking into the hospital security system. Keep them off me in the meantime. Okay, now the fun shit begins. Now take that detonator. Basically, these guys pour in through the windows, and we're supposed to like shoot them, but with it. Infinite rocket launcher, that just makes it a lot easier. Let's get rid of this stuff. Because we're definitely not needing any of it. This thing didn't get discarded. There we go. That window over there is going to break as well. So he just broke it. Proving my point. Can I shoot the flowers? Nope, shoot through them there. And then they've got one box there and a box over here. If you get overwhelmed, you can shoot those boxes. That way those zombies will stop coming through. Or not stop coming through, but get electrocuted and, and just fly off.
having this rocket launcher just, I mean, it makes it crazy easy. And obviously, like I said, you're going to do higher difficulties. You're going to need that. You're going to need that edge. And in all honesty, with all the, the coins and everything that you've got here, you can easily do a run. I actually did it on Nightmare where I did not use any healing items except the one, obviously, that uh, you needed for the level that had those like little spider things where you're trying to activate the power. That was the only spot that I like needed just the one item for. And then everything else, you've got the defense coins. Normally on that... I, I, I'm not sure if on that playthrough oh, or on uh, that l difficulty, it would take more than one bite to kill you without that. But it was actually uh, pretty simple once once I had that. Like, I was able to just have these, uh, these coins and everything, and, and it just prevented a lot of damage from happening. If I did get damaged, if I did get bit... Uh, you know, it, it really didn't take long for it to, like, heal by itself. So, you know, yeah, these are, like, little ways of cheating, but that's how you... That's the only way you're going to, like, do the S-Rank. I would love to hear from anybody who played through uh, Inferno without any of those items. I'm pretty sure that there are out there people that, you know, will challenge themselves and want to play that way and I mean that's awesome I may try a run through like that it is pretty awesome I'm pretty sure you'd feel real accomplished especially if you've already got the S rank and you've already got the thing it doesn't affect your stats it doesn't change uh, your results it'll, it'll show that you know it, it shows your best scores on the results screen it doesn't show what you just recently did I actually have uh, S's in all the higher levels assisted and uh, the other one I have, I think, B's. And that's usually because like I'm just shooting videos with those lower level ones. Just to show where everything is. Uh, I have videos where I'm showing our... And that's why like I didn't speed run through those. I should, though. Just for the heck of it. Yeah, when you see that thing, you know that, like, you're close to the end when you see the, uh, hunter. Here come the rest. You just gotta survive for 30 seconds. I mean, that's easy. You're not gonna have anything coming through those walls because everything is gonna close down. It's just gonna be this one window that everything comes through. Also, if you wanna get that infinite uh, machine gun, you could get that infinite uh, AR and it'll help with you farming the, uh, the the spitting lead record in which you have to like kill I forget how many zombies or creatures with that thing and I think that took me the longest time because I just didn't have the bullets like I always ran out of bullets on that I'm coming back vaccine's a real deal good you going somewhere? You damn right. What do you think you're gonna do? Whole city's about to be microwaved. Come on, man. Call the government. Tell them we found a cure. You stall for time. Ballsy motherfucker. Back to Jill. Jill. Oh. Oh, thank God you're okay. I'm going to 
got good news. It's over now. The city's safe. No. Uh -oh. These nightmares are getting worse for Jill. Where am I? What's going on? She's all patched up. Attention all citizens. The missile strike on Raccoon City will occur in just hours. The payload what a lovely thing to wake up to. All biological material. A missile strike. You will not survive if you remain in the city. October 1st. Evacuate now. Repeat. No. Can't be. This is not a test. Mm. There's a G18 handgun, the burst model. And there's nothing else we need in here. Let's get out of here. Morning, sunshine. You saved my life. I sure as shit didn't. That was all Carlos. He carried you here and he treated you himself, crazy bastard. Where is he? I went underground. Bard stockpiled the vaccine, enough to give this city some hope. He thinks he can do this by himself. I'm going after him. Wait, did you see the broadcast? They're gonna blow the city sky high. I'm trying to get a hold of someone, anyone with the clearance to stop it. Leave this mess to him. He's a professional. So am I. Mm-hmm. Right. Guess I'm not talking to you either. Nope. How do all these facilities have these underground things? Like, this is, like, shocking to me. Like, if you think about, like, any of these games, like, even the original ones, like, it, it just it, the very first Resident Evil on the very first PlayStation, like, how would you have a bunch of, like, bullets that just happen to no fit a, a, a special SWAT team's guns and stuff? Like, that is crazy. That is psychotic. Like video game logic is incredible. It's it's just it's fun. It really is. I mean, I know it's just a video game and like obviously that wouldn't happen, but still like it's just it's hilarious. Like, if you really thought about it. Yeah. I must admit, I respect your tenacity. But I'm afraid our game... Hello, sunshine. And goodbye. There's our first one. It took me like a couple of tries to get the pattern to figure out exactly what to do so that that way I could get all those things without missing a beat. Oh, two dead dogs. Nice. Wait. 
Not a dead end. It took me a while also to figure out that I didn't need to lower that platform and get on it and go up. I wonder if they'll make DLC for this. I would love to see DLC for this. I really would. I would love to see some, like, aftermath where, like, she escapes or maybe what... That guy seems like he just shouldn't have just dropped like that. And here we are running through. We just have one more to go. And what you're seeing is actually the path of life I normally took for this. Make sure that guy's dead. It was unlocked because we're going to come through there. Thanks for joining the party. take a quick look see realistically I've only been playing for an hour even though like with everything that's going on with all the cutscenes and everything it's actually been almost two hours that we've done we've gone through like two videos so far those guys can all die we'll put this all in here and we'll go up top Get him. Hey, calm down. It's your buddy. Joe. Tyrell. I got through. They're willing to negotiate. Oh. They'll call out the strike if, and this is one big ass if, we can deliver the vaccine to them. Before they launch. How long do we have? Hours. Maybe. Then let's not waste one more second. This way. We'll find the vaccine up ahead. I don't know why in this part you can't run. All right, let's get this done. Run. 
No, we're in the lab. Now we gotta like make this vaccine and, and get it to where it's gotta go. Take this one out because you're gonna start moving. They've got an override key, but they don't have override any way of removed. preventing this kind of virus from going all over the place. And back down the stairs so we can go into the little side room that's locked. And this is the only time we'll use this. Man, that guy got hurt. Let's see who's down there. Yeah, see, you definitely want the infinite rocket launcher just to make this game a lot quicker. Just so that you could do your whole playthrough. But I would love to see somebody do Inferno. I mean, I might try it. I, I'd love to see somebody do Inferno and uh, Nightmare with just the basic weapons no cheats no nothing like that i may challenge myself honestly i don't think it's impossible and basically like you gotta remember that like it's a one hit death for any of that if you're gonna play nightmare and inferno with no uh recovery coins no defense coins no attack coins you're basically going in there with the basic the most barest items in order to survive and get through the game that's gonna be pretty wild i i really do think i'm gonna challenge myself and do that because as you can see with the, like the infinite rocket launcher this is pretty simple I, I'd love to see some some challenges like that. Like I said, if if you are doing that, definitely let me know. Let me know if you're going to do it live. Let me know like what you plan on doing. I, I would not even be mad if during it you actually uh, you, if you got killed, you you quit and restarted. You you went back with like a load or whatever. Only because I know that that's going to be really difficult. And much respect to anybody who, like, actually attempts that. Like, that's going to be amazing. That is going to be amazing. I don't care if you die, like, 900 times. I think that that's going to be cool. Because there is a lot of effort that's going to go into that. It's going to be really nuts. And I would love to see it. All right, now we gotta run upstairs and we gotta get the second part of this vaccine. Perfect. I might be able to use this to... Now we combine these. Synthesize the vaccine. Also, in Inferno, there is no save spots. There's no autosave. You literally are running only on whatever saves you create. All right, so we've run back upstairs. And we get in here, and this is where we develop the vaccine. But I'm going to end the video here. Uh, obviously, there's going to be one more video. It'll be shorter than all of these. And it's going to have the entire finale, all right? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. It helps the channel out an awful lot. As always, I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. And until the next one, take care.